Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Aviator Sam where you will learn more about aviation. So, this is part 2 of the series How to become a commercial pilot in India. If you haven't checked the first part of this series, you can go and check it out by clicking on the i button on the upper right corner. You can follow my Instagram handle for latest aviation updates in India. Also, I will recommend you to watch full video for the accurate information. So, here's the step number 5, which is ground training. Ground training includes theoretical classes for the subjects you need to pass during DGCA exams. The ground training can be done in two ways. You can either complete it from a private institute or by joining a flying club. There are many private institutes which provide classes for ground subjects. Now comes step number 6 which is passing DGCA exams. It's preferable to pass DGCA exams before you start your flying training. There are mainly 6 subjects you need to pass for a commercial pilot license. These exams are as follows. Technical General, Technical Specific, Air Navigation, Aviation Metrology, Air Regulation, and RTR. These exams are conducted by DGCA in every three months. Now comes step number seven, which is flying training. I'm sure flight training must be best part on in a pilot's journey. So to meet the DGCA requirements for a commercial pilot license, we we'll need a minimum of 200 total flying hours, which is further divided into more than 100 hours as a pilot in command, 20 plus hours of cross country, and 15 plus hours on a multi-engine aircraft. Step number 8, which is getting a multi-engine rating. Multi-engine rating is a rating which allows a student pilot to operate as a pilot in command of an aircraft with more than one engine. Step number 9 is getting an instrument rating. Basically, it's an additional qualification that a student pilot must have in order to fly an aircraft with the help of instruments during bad weather. Now comes the most important step, step number 10 that is applying for a CPL. After completing all these requirements mentioned above, you need to go to the DGCA website and log in with your EGCA ID. Don't worry guys, I'll be telling all the things about EGCA in my upcoming videos. Once you log in with your EGCA ID, you need to scan and submit the necessary details and documents and apply for a CPL. Your commercial pilot license would be delivered to your home address. Now comes step number 11, which is type rating. Type rating is basically a specific training for the aircraft you will be flying for a company. I'll be delivering more information about type rating in my upcoming videos. So that's all about this series aviators. I hope you all are now familiar with the path one need to follow to become a commercial pilot. If you have any query, feel free to message me on my Instagram handle. If you like the video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really motivates me to make such videos and do subscribe my channel for more videos related to aviation. Also press the bell icon to get notification of my videos. I'll be back soon with another interesting video related to aviation. Till then stay tuned, stay home and stay safe.